Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Cackleberry's Garden and Gift Shop in Meredith. I'm joined by Rachel Messini from UNH Cooperative Extension. Rachel, one of the things we try to do is educate people about some pests, and I gather there's gonna be a big one showing up here in the next few days or few exactly. weeks. Exactly, Ray, we're gonna look at the viburnum leaf beetle. This is a pest that is not relatively new. It's been here a while, and just knowing what to look for. They prefer, prefer the viburnums with the non-hairy leaves, so the American cram, um, cranberry is one of them. All right. This one here, the trebillium, is one of, not so much on their palate, but they will hit it if um, there isn't another variety available. Now, what sort of damage can they do to our plants here? They can actually devastate a plant, and it seems like overnight. It's very sudden and it's erratic. They'll, they'll feed on the leaves, all the leaf material, towards the veins, and so it looks like almost like a lacy pattern. It's absolutely beautiful. So what should I be looking for now as I examine my plants? This time of year in June, they all already have started feeding. They overwinter in the egg case, which is right on the branch. So after they hatch out, those larvae will start feeding on that plant, and you'll see basically lacy pattern damage. Okay, what do I do then to treat it? If you, if you can, you want to look for those overwintering sites before the damage is done. But if they've already started feeding, what you can do is prune out some of those sections. You can treat with some insecticides. And for more information on that, you can call our toll-free information line to get those recommendations. What about just soap and water? Does that do anything? Soap and water will not. Um, these are very aggressive. There's a lot of them that's not gonna to touch them. Okay, once I prune out some of the spots where they are, do I need then to take special precautions with that? Like for instance, don't throw it in your compost pile? Or... You'll wanna, you definitely wanna either burn them or um, bag them up and throw them in your recycling. Okay, and uh, in terms of preventing them from coming back from next year? What you wanna do is early spring, or winter, look for those overwintering sites, which are on the, the this year's growth. What they'll do is the female will lay those eggs and then cap those egg sites. So they, it almost feels like braille on the new growth. All right, and if I have any questions, uh, is there a number to call? There and... is, one 398 4769 is our information line. All right, and that's it for today's Grow It Green.